Today we will look at the picking and packing functionality at, in HandyFox Online. Uh, these operations are done to verify that the correct items are being shipped and uh, picking and packing can be done with sales orders and invoices in HandyFox. So we will look at several different situations starting with the simplest one uh, where you just pick a sales order in full in one go and then pack it. So to do that, I'm going to go to sales and I can just go to open orders and this will list all the orders for me that can be picked or packed. And I have a couple of fresh sales orders I want to work with today. These two. So let's start with this one. And there's also the alternative way to pull up these sales orders. And for that, I can just locate the customer and then go into their orders specifically by clicking customer orders and here are these two orders so but I'm gonna just use the open orders list and sort it by date and let's look at this one first so when I highlight it I get the pick button which I can press and then we have a list of everything that we need to pick here and uh, on on above the list we can see how many pieces were on the original order and how many are remaining to be picked so I can just take the scanner and uh, start populating this list so this is everything and if I scan the same item once more uh, it will give me an error that I'm I'm picking too much and if I scan something that was not on this list, it's going to give me an error again. So I can only scan and pick whatever was on the original sales order. So now that everything is picked, I can save it. And there's also an option to print the hard copy of this pick list, which I'm going to agree to just to show you how this looks, this document but I'm not gonna actually print it. So I'm gonna press back and now our pick list is saved. And you may have noticed that now when I have this order highlighted here, the button changes to pack. So with the brand new sales order, it says pick and this sales order we can now pack. And this is the second stage of shipment verification. So this, uh, this screen uh, doesn't allow us to enter quantities by, by hand anymore because that would kind of defeat the purpose of packing. But I can scan everything in once again. Excuse me. Yeah, so now all, both these lines are highlighted in green and I can proceed with uh, creating the back order or actually let me back out of here without saving uh, so I can show you how you can skip packing instead so instead of scanning everything this whole step can be skipped provided that this uh, this ability is turned on in HandyFox settings so just to skip it you can just set the pack call checkbox and that automatically marks everything as packed so either way I can save this now and uh, at this point, you can have the customer enter the, their signature here, but I'm not going to do that. And uh, let's just look at how the printed document would look. So this is our packing slip. And now that we've successfully picked and packed the sales order, this should have created an invoice that will tell the system and uh, QuickBooks that this order has been processed and no further action is required on it. So, for example, if I look at my open invoices, let's see, is this the one we just did? Yes, so this is, this is the invoice that has been generated as a result of us picking and packing that sales order. So you see this invoice has everything we had on the original order. And now I guess we can 
synchronize our app and see uh, that invoice in uh, the web interface of HandyFox and in QuickBooks as well. So let me relocate the camera and show you uh, how it looks in QuickBooks. All right, so this is my HandyFox uh, web interface and my QuickBooks. So here, if I go to sales and first of all, let's check out the sales order. So this is our newly created. Actually, no, it's not because this lists only open sales orders and our order we worked with is no longer open. But if I select invoice in, in full here in the filter, here it is. And if I go to invoices, uh, this I think right here is our invoice that was generated. We cannot uh, actually view it here, but we can we can kind of view the hard copy of it if we want to see what's on the, on the invoice. And here you can see that uh, all the all the items are correct. And now uh, let me force the sync with QuickBooks so that it adds the invoice with Quick, uh, into my QuickBooks as well. This will happen eventually anyway, even without me forcing it. It just might not be as fast as I want it to be right now. So now let's go to my QuickBooks and look at the recent sales. And here it is. I can view it. And here are the items that were on the invoice. All right, now let's go back to the mobile device and uh, view, look at the situation that's a little bit more complex than what we just did. Okay, now let's consider the situation when we cannot pick an order in full. So, for example, I have also this order here. And let's say we don't have the pump currently on hand and also we only have half of the sprinkler pipes, only six. So I can just uh, pick whatever we have right now. And actually it's a bit too many to scan one by one, by one so let me just type in the quantity manually. So, so we're missing the pump and the six sprinkler pipes. That's okay, we can just pick the order partially and I'm gonna save it. Yeah, and it's warning us that the we're not picking the order in full. I want to continue and uh, I'm gonna skip printing just for the sake of speed. And now I'm also gonna pack whatever we've picked. So now you, uh, you notice this order is still here and uh, if I go to pick it once again, it's only showing us whatever we have not picked the first time. So these, uh, these items are on the back order. If, for example, if I view the sales order itself, it will show us everything. And, uh, but even here it's showing us that uh, it's already partially fulfilled. So uh, if I highlight the sprinkler heads, for example, uh, we see that two out of two have been invoiced and zero is on the back order. And with the pipes, the situation is quite different, as you can see. So, yeah, that, that has created an invoice with what, what we have picked. And uh, when we have those items, we can pick it the second time now and uh, pick whatever was missing the first time and now I save it and pack it so now this order is not here anymore because it's not considered an open order now let's check out the open invoices let me sort them by date and I think these two right here are the ones that were just generated as a result of our two uh, picking sessions. Let's take a look. 
yep and the uh, this one contains the second portion of the items yes and there is a setting in handy fox by the way uh, that makes it so that it keeps changing the first invoice that was generated and rather than create a second and a third invoice and so on and uh, finally let's look let's look at uh, picking and packing an invoice which uh, the procedure goes pretty much the same as uh, picking and packing a sales order so let's see if I can find any suitable invoice here and naturally the, the invoices that were just generated uh, as a result of picking and packing uh, they themselves cannot be picked and packed so yeah let's try to pick and pack this one for example so uh, on above the list we can see that there were two pieces on the invoice and for this item there were six pieces so once again I can just scan everything in uh, and it will not let me scan in more than there was on the invoice and I can save it and finally pack everything again and I'm just skipping printing again for the sake of speed. Yeah, and here and now this in this list the invoice is highlighted in green uh, to signify that it's been fully processed. So there you go. This is uh, how picking and packing works in HandyFox. So stay tuned for more tutorials, and this will be it for today. Bye. -bye.